Tonight I went to an event up at the U hosted by the Young Society of Utah. It was Coleman Barks um, in conjunction with a cellist doing readings of Rumi poetry. And Coleman Barks is like the foremost translator of Rumi. Um, so when I saw the event, I was really excited to go um, and I was really looking forward to it. And this is kind of one of those like brain injury moments where the actual hall itself where the event was held had very echoey acoustics. And the way that the sound was sort of was set up, essentially, it was like a torture chamber for me. <laughs> like, I don't, I, I don't know if like normal people can understand what it's like where you like sit in a room where like normal things are happening and the noises like cause you like physical pain and like and then you're kind of trapped because it's one of those like sort of fancy events where you're like seated in the middle of a row and it's like really poor etiquette to get up in the middle so you know I here was this event that I was so excited to go see um and unfortunately the event just wasn't particularly like accessible and of course like I get it like no one like sets up events and thinks about brain injuries. Like, and even if they did, like every person with a brain injury would probably need something completely different. <laughs> so like, I, I get that it's, a, it's really hard to make events brain injury friendly. And half the time, like, I don't even know if something is going to bother me or not. Like sometimes I do know, but in this case, it was just one of those things where the acoustics of the room itself um, just really noise was at a particular frequency level whatever that it was just almost intolerable for me like I left the event with a headache feeling kind of confused and irritable um and it's it's too bad and I couldn't I couldn't because of the way the sound was it, I had a hard time actually comprehending the person who was doing the poetry reading um there was a lot of reverberation um and, and I feel kind of sad because I was really excited to get to be at an event where I could be really present and relax and listen to Rumi, who, as you may or may not know, is sort of this mystical, like, Sufi poet from the 13th century. Um, and so, yeah, like, that's how sometimes brain injury stuff can pop up unexpectedly, you know, and you just sort of have to do the best you can with it. I think if things had gotten really bad, I might have had to, like, get up and walk out. Um, I did make it through the event. I always carry earplugs with me because I've learned that sometimes there are noisy environments that I didn't expect to bother me that do bother me. And so it's better to be prepared and have have that with me. Um, but yeah, that it's it's crazy to me that it's two years out and I'm still having stuff like this. I had not really expected that. I was kind of like, oh, you know, six months out, I'll be totally fine and this won't even be an issue at all. And you know, and life happens the way it does. And I think I'm really glad that I do have a lot of functionality, that there are a lot of things I can do. Um, and I hope to keep working on my recovery and hopefully someday I can go to any event of any noise level and it won't be an issue.